All right. Spiritual path. You really are trying to move to higher ground, to see things from a bigger perspective, to get more balance, to leave the murkiness and emotional stuff that you've learned behind and move even better, move forward and deeper into relationship. You're trying to get the balance. This is the challenge. This is really, really tricky for you. It's something that you might struggle with your entire damn life, I'm sorry to tell you. But there's an art to it, and it's not an overnight thing. The temperance of today might not require the same things as the temperance of tomorrow. So this balance, you can show them this. This is gorgeous. You can see this angel is trying to really balance out the, the energies, whether it's earth or water, cosmic sky, whatever you want to call it, um, yin-yang, whatever you call it. The energies are opposite, and you're trying to balance them. And it doesn't just happen like, psh, psh, done. No, you're not making martinis. This is balancing aspects of your spiritual life. This is like divine energy, divine wisdom. It comes out a bit at a time, right in the middle where you're at. This is like, I call it the peer get off the pot. It's the two of swords. You're at a crossroads. You need to get strategic. You need to make choices. And in this particular moment, everything is peaceful. It's truce, but it's also stalemate. You need to not stay in this energy too long. Below you is the king of pentacles. This is the businessman, the man that knows what's going on. There's very much loyalty. There's grounded energy. There's planning. There is um, a sense of allowing timing to happen to get things to grow, but it, it requires big patience with this one. The Three of Cups, celebrating the emotional energy is what you love. You like being around people. You like to share, but you need to take some time and follow this wisdom here where you're slower, where you're acting slower. It, it almost is like prepping for harvest time, prepping for winter. Like This doesn't say hibernate, but it feels hibernate somehow. There's time where you need to have this truth hibernate. It doesn't mean don't celebrate. It doesn't mean don't have people around. You really need to get centered. This is calling you to get centered and balanced. And this is calling you to slow down to do it. You're going to have to look at things very, very closely. And this one you see, show them that. You see this reflection. And is that reflection actually accurate? Sometimes we see things, we project things. We take in different emotions or different energies. And it's not all ours. It's mixed in a way that isn't necessarily true to us. You're going to have to cut something out that isn't necessarily your energy, your cosmic junk to straighten out. Devil's in the house. Devil's in the house a lot today, folks. Sorry to tell you that. This is toxic shit. This is behavior you know better, and it's blocking you. The easy road is not the road you need to take. The easy road, the familiar road, the, the old go-to, that mode of operation isn't going to work for you going forward spiritually. The eight of wands, a lot of information coming in, a lot of new energy. This is a lot of passion and fire and movement. Sometimes it's travel. Here we're traveling to the higher ground, seeking the higher ground. This indicates that over the air, back and forth, geographic stuff, sometimes emails, sometimes messages, that kind of fiery energy. And it's frenzied. The old MO You'll screw yourself out of an opportunity. Don't do it. I'm going to get the second deck out. See if there's anything else. I want to know these two for spiritual path. That's a conundrum. That's like, well, it's difficult. Okay. Queen of Cups is in the house. This is a time for really reflecting. When I say hibernate, I mean it. Queen of Cups, she's got the emotional energy. She's very, very um, nurturing, mothering, but sometimes martyry. But get grounded, less watery, more earthy, and then you can celebrate. This Queen of Cups is reflecting on things. Usually you see her and she's got the cup. Sometimes it's closed, sometimes not. Reflecting. This isn't usually one that says reflecting, but in this deck, it definitely asks you to. This is pausing, looking back, being mindful, get grounded, get honest about something. This is something that's to do with a truth that you one you know and have to do away with and one that you need to know about yourself that needs changed, straightened out, adapted, spiritual truth. Ten of Wands. This is driving your own ship. This is being the captain of your own stuff. Usually you see this guy and he's so burdened down and he's like, oh, I've finished. I'm finally here. I'm finally here. He's at the end of the driveway. There's just a little bit more required, but he's at the end of the driveway to his own home. He's like, he can go there. He can see the house. This is steering your way clear of the burden, not taking on somebody else's bullshit. Something about that is creating overwhelm for you. Somebody else's old patterning, toxic patterning, addictive behaviors 
is enmeshed with your world and it's it's fucking you under. It's not healthy. It's not good. Steer clear of it. Six of Wands. This is nostalgia. This is sweetness, lightness, childlike energy. Um, gifts that are in childhood are like your favorite rock or part of your favorite candy bar. There's an energy of giving, giving and receiving that's equal and no strings attached. No, you have to do this. You have to do that. It's just given because there's a joy in giving it to someone, being the giver. It's not just be grateful, make a gratitude list. It's actually find a real way you can give. The random acts of kindness thing, that's what this engenders in my mind. It's important to you. It, it's part of what you need to act upon. There's more in here. Darn it. Yeah, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ooh. This is why I like doubling down, folks. There is big time energy travel, lots of stuff. It's going to feel frenzy. Don't go to your old behavior. There is heartbreak of something. You have to accept some kind of truth that your heart wants what your heart wants, but your head knows better. This sometimes is betrayals. It sometimes is third party. But it's a lazy read to go automatically to that. Sometimes it's a recognition, recognition of a truth that we know, but we just would rather not have to do that hard road. You have to do that hard road. And there's going to be lots of energy, lots of back and forth. This definitely feels like some sort of traveling, something from a distance geographically. This is big time energy, a lot happening at once. A lot of inspiration, a lot of fire. It's like you're burning the devil out of his house. If you have this many wands, you have 16 wands dealing with the damn devil and he's at the number 15, screw him. You can beat him. You can beat him, you can beat this. Just operate from your higher self much, much more. You'll find the formula. It will come. Be patient. Hunker down a bit. That's what I got for you. Good luck. Wow. Yeah, that was that was tricky. And this is... That's why I love the double decks. Every time. It's why I told Phil, I need, I need to have two of these. Uh, I, I think I need another deck of these, honey. You have plenty of tarot. No, no, I need to be able to double down. Well, I do. Yes, she does. Okay, that one goes here. And also here. Generational trauma is my guess I, that I need to face. Good luck in doing it. It's not easy work. It's it's good and it will help free you. But it's not easy. So good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Mm. Okay. All right. Yeah, that was a bigger one than I thought. That was a good one. Yeah, this Star Tarot... It's usually the one I use when I'm getting, like, insight from the other side and whatnot. So the fact that she says generational trauma doesn't surprise me. It was the, it was the right choice for sure. Put this. And someone you did read for while Joyful Ashley, remember? I think we did, like, an okay. after-live read for her. Okay. She put, Ange, I have to tell you that you was right about my reading. Truth came out. He came home. Thank you. Oh, Good. Good. Yay. Well, all right. It's always right. good to hear things like that. Always, I love hearing that, you know, that it makes sense to you guys, even if it doesn't make sense to me. Or if I'm right, great. If I'm wrong, I'm happy to be wrong if it's, you know, happier for you. You guys always know better. I'm just reading the energy of the cards. But you guys always know to look within is like the good, best thing. If the cards can help you kind of steer a little clearer of things or steer more towards what you want, then great. Yeah, that's great. That's yeah, fantastic. that's exciting. That is exciting. Yay. Okay. You should put thank you so much, Joyful Ashley. You are welcome, Ashley. <laughs> All right. Hopefully. All right. There we go. What's next? Right. We can go with, let's see. I've seen somebody go by here. Okay. All right. Let's go with... With Kayla, can I have a reading on me and my boyfriend's future together? This is for Kayla. Yes. Kayla, we're looking at the dark woods. It feels something is murky. This sometimes is to do with shadow sides, and we'll break out the double if we need to. Double, not devil. You and your boyfriend. Future.
Okay, this is a little bit of a tricky one because somebody wants to go faster than the other. Common problem, no big whoop. But something's a little off balance. There's a little bit of mischief in one person's part. So I'm reading what I see. You'll know who it applies to. Right down the middle, the energy is the king of wands. This is very fiery, can be controlling. If it's like this and there's icky cards all around it, it's probably narcissist. Not in this case. It's just inspirational and let's go energy. Let's get going. Ten of Pentacles. Let's make money. We'll take it slow. We'll just add slowly, slowly. This is legacy. This is dynasty. This is inheritance. This grows over time. This is let's go. Like man the man. And this is practical, practical. Here you have the star of absolutely no help when you get this. <laughs> Well, actually, it's a lot of help, but it's very watery, and it says, slow down, hope and healing, dreams coming true. So this person feels very much on track and further down the track. This one will get there. It's like a little bit of begrudging, but they'll get there. It's like, all right. Now, on one side, on two side, okay? This is what we're dealing with. King of Pentacles likes the plan. We talked about him kind of going slow. He's very grounded energy. He's very stable. Where this one might be rash and get you down the wrong alley, the wrong street and into trouble, this one keeps you grounded. But you're working towards this energy of something taking off. This guy's grounded could be a little bit stubborn. Page of Wands is here, lighting candles all over the place, like here, here, here. And it's almost like this certain energy with a little bit of like, this has multiple monies that will help slow this one down. Multiple talents, multiple coins, gifts slows it down. This has multiple candles, like lighten this guy up, like let's go, let's go.